guys, it's Reagan and Quinn, and today we are bringing you Season 2, Episode 2 of The Extreme Agey Battle. Sorry that this has taken a little while to come out, but it's mainly because of my schedule, because I've had volleyball pretty much every day of the week, so it's been a little rough, but now that the season is over, we should hopefully have more time to film. Right, so let's get started. So this week's theme was Halloween, and the first photo is from Hippie AG 2018. And I really like her photo because I do feel like it really gives off a Halloween kind of vibe. Like her doll has like cat ears and like a cat face kind of on and the different ghosts kind of go with the Halloween theme. However, I do feel like it is a little over edited like because simply there aren't really many props, actual props in it and it's all just edited. But I don't feel like it looks too terribly bad. So I feel like it's pretty good. This photo is of Chantel from TNT Dynamite Studios. I don't know, I can't compliment this enough, but she always does a really great job with the shadows on her doll's face. So, I don't know how she does it, but she does a great job. I also really love the Spider-Man outfit. I think it's a really unique take on Halloween, and I think she did a great job. Next photo is of Arwen from BreatheAG underscore 13 Studios. And I really like how this does give off a fall kind of look. I do feel like it's lacking a little bit in the Halloween specifically, although I do feel it is very fall with the scarecrows behind her. But once again, I do feel like it's lacking a bit of a costume a little more. She does have the little, like, basket to hold candy and stuff. I just felt like there could have been a little more. But overall, I really think it's a cute picture. This photo is from Willow of Summer Dolls 58. And I actually really like this. I think the sushi outfit you came up with was really creative and cute. I think it's a really nice touch. You made sure you can tell it's Halloween by the little candy basket in her hand. So I think that's a really nice accessory. And it makes sure it's clear it's Halloween and not just National Sushi Day. And the background, <laughs> the background of the photo, if I had to say one thing, the background of the photo is a little plain, but I think it looks nice with her eyes, so I think in the end, you can tell what's going on in the picture, so I think you did a great job. Next photo is from dolly underscore bunnies dot bts with her doll Amber, and I think this photo is a different take on the Halloween theme because her doll is handing out the candy rather than the one receiving so she's just kind of dressed up in your regular fall attire which I think is really cute and I like how you can see an extra doll's hand come out but it's kind of hard to see which is nice because it doesn't distract from the actual doll in the photo so I really like this the next photo is from Luciana <laughs> next photo is from Luciana of truly underscore me ag you really took a nice spooky direction with this I really love the tiny details you added to this picture like how you can see the other doll's feet underneath the ghost outfit I think that adds a nice, almost pranking look. Like it almost looks like a different girl is trying to prank Luciana. And I also love just how spooked Luciana looks. Like she's totally freaking out about this. It's getting real up in here. And the filter you used was also a very nice vintage, almost creepy look. So I think you did a great job. All right, and this next photo is of Ryan from Alley Cat Loves AG. And I really like this photo because it kind of looks like, I can clearly tell she's a hippie dressed up for Halloween. And it kind of looks like, oh, maybe it's her first Halloween and her mom's taking your picture by this tree. I'm just kind of kidding, but you know, you could take it that way. But I just think overall it's a really good picture and I feel like it really captures the whole Halloween spirit with the different colored leaves in the background. So as for the elimination, a lot of you have been asking about this. The person that is eliminated this week is actually not somebody who submitted a photo this week. The person is actually AG underscore mermaid 23 and she just didn't submit a picture. So thank you for participating the first week, but she is not going to be continuing on to this next episode. Uh, in the future, we will actually be taking away people based on their photo scores. However, this week we actually had a tie for a lower place. So we decided just to take her out instead and let you guys all continue on this week. All right, so the theme for this coming week is colors. You can choose any color you like and we had some questions. Yes, black, white, they're allowed. Pretty much any color you can do. And the photos will be due on Wednesday, the 31st of October. So, and if you need extra time or if that doesn't work out, we can just, you know, ask us and we can accommodate to whatever your needs are. But there should be enough time, we're hoping, because that's a little over a week. But anyways, we're really excited to see your photos. Oh, thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more. Bye! Bye.